My name is Marijke Alblas. I'm a medical doctor originally from Holland. I worked in abortion in Holland for many years already. And when in 97 I heard that South Africa had legalized abortion, I thought that's fantastic. You can be an example for the rest of Africa that you can save women's life with legalizing. But legalizing is only one step. To get it introduced, to get it working is quite a different thing. And I knew that was not going to be easy. So I offered my help. And I was even funded by Holland. And for quite a number of years, they helped me so I could start the abortion services here and the train nurses, doctors, and I worked in most of the hospitals really in the in Cape Town, but also then further and further away, like in Busta in George. I've been traveling to Outshorn for quite a couple of years. And also I worked directly for Mari Stops. Yeah. There are two ways one can have an abortion. So-called surgical abortion, manual vacuum aspiration that's done in a hospital or clinic, or abortion with the help of pills only, which is done at home. A woman should be able to choose which methods she wants. Both methods are safe and effective to, ter to terminate a pregnancy. For an abortion with pills, she takes the pills that cause the cervix to open, the womb to contract and expel the pregnancy. This process is very similar to an early miscarriage. Around one in four pregnancies end in a miscarriage and women mostly manage this process themselves at home. Abortion with pills is 95 to 99% effective. This, this means that out of 100 women who use this method to abort, one of them will not have a successful abortion. Also, according to WHO, medical abortion in the first 12 weeks can safely be self-managed. Research shows that abortion with pills is safer than childbirth, and the use of antibiotics, penicillin or Viagra. In countries where childbirth is safe, in one in every 15,000 women dies during childbirth. The risk of fatal anaphylaxis with penicillin has been estimated to be around one in 100,000. The mortality rate of people using drugs that treat erectile dysfunction, including Viagra, is approximately 4 in 100,000 users. So then the mortality of medical abortion is less than 1 per 100,000. So compared to all these other ways, other things that people are using, it's a very safe thing to use. If performed in the first 12 weeks, an abortion with pills carries a very small risk of complications. The risk is the same as when a woman has a miscarriage and can be easily treated by a medical practitioner. Out of every 100 women who do a medical abortion, two to three women will seek further medical care. It is important that women know that the signs what the signs are when they should go to hospital. If a woman has a fever or more than 38 degrees for 24 hours, heavy bleeding where she soaks more than two maxi sanitary pads per hour, or resistant pain, then she must go to hospital.